Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Rue. So today I'm going to be the top 10 ley line. That's right, the top 10 ley line, which I actually love these cards. So let's begin with number 10. Which at number 10, we got Ley Line Prowler from War of the Spark, which is an uncommon going for roughly 18 cents on the market. This is the only Ley Line card that is a creature on this list, and it's at number 10. The reason why it's at number 10 is because it has Death Touch, Life Link, and add one mana of any color to your mana pool for three mana for this 2 3. That's 100% awesome. Death Touch and Life Link, you just, either way, you can get rid of them, gain life. Or just simply game mana, I, as I just said. So this is 100% a really amazing card. Out of all the ley lines, it's at number 10, though. So let's move on to number 9. Going number 9, we got Ley Line of Life Force from Guild Pack. It's a rare going for roughly $3.53 on the market. So as most ley lines, it says if it's in your opening hand, you may begin with it in play. So that's basically the whole basis of the ley line force and other ley lines in the entire top 10. So for two colors and two forests if you can't. So it says creature spells can't be countered. The reason why it's at number nine, well, it's very specific against blue decks, and that's why I find it should be at number nine. But if you're playing against blue deck, well, this is awesome. You know, they can't just counter anything. So let's move on to number eight. At number eight, we got Leyline of Singularity from Guild Pack, a rare, which is going for roughly $1.52 on the market. Again... I'm not going to repeat this. We'll do it just for this card. You can begin the game with it in play if it's in your opening hand. So it says all non-land permanents are legendary. Well, there's many cards that can help with this combination card. This is why it's at number 8 because in general it's not very good. Uh, when it comes to ley lines it's not very good. But because of the combination that could possibly happen with this card. can make this very efficient card. And that's why here it is at number 8. So let's move on to number 7. Which we have Leyline of Abundance, which is from Core 2020, and it's a rare, roughly going for $2.63. The reason why Core 20 cards for the series is going up, because not a lot of people bought them, so this is why they're at high, high value. Basically, it says whenever you tap a creature for a mana, add an additional one. So for six colors and two forests, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. So once you, if you get that out right away, that can actually be very, very powerful. You can start pumping out mana as fast as you can. This is very efficient enchantment, so that's basically it. Pumping out creatures, so it's unlike it's not targeted, it's helping you. So let's move on to number six. And number six, which is Leyline of Punishment. So it's from Magic 2011. A rare going for roughly $2.93. I like this card because, well, it's kind of more of an annoyance than anything else. So it says players can't gain life and damage can't prevent be prevented. So it kind of works around several colors. So this is why it's at number six because it kind of works around that and damage can't be prevented. So this card is already red. So if you're doing a burn deck, you know it's not going to be prevented. That's why it's here 100%. So let's move on to number five. At number five, we got Leyline of the Void from various sets. It's a rare, going for roughly $8.56 on the market. So basically, you lay out the Leyline. It's sort of your opening hand. You may begin with it on the battlefield. It says if a card be put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, exile it. Well, that will destroy any graveyard retrieval if you really need that. So this card is 100% annoying, and it is very good in various sets and throughout the whole Magic world. You put this into any deck, it can be quite annoying as there are many cards playing with the de graveyard. So this is why it's worth this much. Let's move on to number four. So what we're going to start with is at number four, we got the Ley Line of Combustion, which is from various sets. It's a rare going for roughly 29 cents. I feel like it should be worth a lot more because I am a fan of its ability. So basically, again, I'm going to say it with every card, this Ley Line can be put into play if it's at the, in your hand at the beginning of the game. But it all says, whenever you and or at least one permanent you control becomes a target with spell and ability an opponent controls, it does two damage to that player. I think this is absolutely amazing. It shuts down blue and red decks completely because they'll take two damage every time if they can't get rid of that combustion. And if it's out first turn, which I have actually played where I randomly got three in a row. That's six damage first turn. Absolutely amazing. I love this card. So let's move on to number three. 
At number three, we got Lane Line of the Meat from Guild Pack, a rare going for $2.32. For a Lane Line, that's actually quite a bit of money. The reason why here it is at number three is, well, basically, so if it's in your opening hand, you can put it into play. For creature tokens, you get plus one, plus one. So with so many token decks you can possibly build, most common one right now in the standard is pests or whatever. You can do anything like elves, squirrels, or whatever. So with creature tokens, that would be very helpful. And there's so much you can do with that. I love the creature token ability. And this is why it's at number three. So let's move on to number two. At number two, we got Leyline of Anticipation from various sets, which is a rare going for. That's right, $6.83 at the market at this time of the video. Picture is very cool. Blue is actually pretty generally pretty good. But it says you may cast spells as though they had flash. Wow. So that just means you can play anything anytime. That just throws the enemy off. Whatever. <laughs> like I said, this is at number two. Uh, 100%. I like the flash ability because you can play anything and just, like I said, I said it before and I'll say it again, just screws with the enemy. And if they attack, they may not want to attack. Maybe they don't want to burn. So this is basically a really good card unless the other person has instances as well. So let's move on actually to number one. And that number one is actually 100% personal choice it is Leyline of Sanctuary. It's from various sets. It's a rare going for $3.74. So this one is at number one because I personally love this card. It is absolutely the best. I 100% know that not a lot of people will agree with me. The blue one is just better, but this one for me is a personal. This basically says you have hexproof. So you can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponents control. Again, like I said, the, I normally don't do my personal um, opinion. Well, I, I am doing my personal opinions right now. But uh, what cards I prefer over other cards and I'm doing a logical way. This one is not logical. This is 100%. I think this is number one. It is not the best of the lane lines. But to me, it is. This is why it's at number one. I love this ability of you having hexproof. And that is actually all the cards on the list. And I hope you enjoyed it. So I hope you guys have a good day. And a good evening.